Okay, welcome to this short video on how to hide page and post titles uh, using um, the latest version of WP LocalBiz. Okay, so um, I'm on the uh, local electrician company demo site, uh, just uh, chosen this site to work with, and um, you can see I'm on the About Us page here. Okay, and at the moment you can see two About Us uh, headings and it would be nice to remove one of them and um, the reason these exist here is because the about us uh, page um, the title of the page of course is 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 taken from that these two relate to each other so <clears throat> if that was different uh, well that would be different too um, but this one here is a heading for the actual page itself i've chosen but uh, uh, to explain a little bit clearer, okay, go to the back end here. This is the edit page, okay. So in the edit page, if we wanted to remove the title, you can't just you know leave this blank here and have have no title because then you've got no uh, permalink uh, URL and it's just not going to work, okay. Um, so we have to find another way of doing it. In this case, the reason we've got two about us in there is because I've I've put this in like so, and um, there's there's numerous things that you can do with this uh, remove page and post title uh, feature that we've put in here, and um, just uh, trying to put it into perspective for you, it'll all kind of make sense in a moment. But uh, that's why we've got two uh, names now. That presents a bit of a problem in the normal web browser view because we've got about us twice. It just looks uh, unnecessary and unprofessional. Now if we go to the um, mobile view, this is uh, using um, this is using Safari in the uh, developer mode for the... Uh, I'll just close it down again or narrow that down again. Okay, so you can see that here we've only got one title, or we've got the, the actual WP Touch plugin uh, icon for the page that we chose and the about us and then we get about us underneath it doesn't look quite so you know out of place but um, where it does look out of place is on here now one of the things that we we can actually do is if we wanted to just to put this into perspective for you we could change the actual heading for the page or the post okay um, so and that doesn't appear in the uh, in the page permalink um, or URL, but um, we could even go a little bit further than that. Of course, if you tried putting this in a title, it's too long for the uh, for the menu uh, tabs. This is going to look wrong. But uh, if I did that, that's relative because interesting information about us. Yeah, okay, you, you'd expect uh, to see something like that on, on an about us page. Okay, so we go back to the site, and now we've got on the About Us page, they've clicked the About Us, uh, like if we go back to home, I'll just put that into further perspective. Okay, so they're on the home page, uh, they want to you know, read About Us, they click on the About Us page, and they come to the About Us page, of course. Um, the page title's in there, it just says interesting information about us. Now we could remove the About Us title there because it's not really necessary. Um, let's just go to the mobile uh, view here. We refresh the page and you can see this again um, <clears throat> looks a little bit more um, relevant although now the, the actual page heading title is a little bit long but uh, About Us, interesting information about us. Okay so um, what about if I wanted to just have when they clicked on the About Us page I just wanted to show whatever I put in as the heading title for the uh, for the page or post. So I want to remove about us and I just want to have interesting information about us. Um, normally you cannot do that on a normal WordPress uh, site but what we've done as of this latest version is to um, code <clears throat> something in to the functions which allows you to remove that. Now what you do is you come down here to custom fields. Okay. Now it just says add a new custom field, that's what we want to do, and we want to enter new, okay, and the name we're going to give for this custom field, this will make sense in a moment, is title, okay, just title, 
and that refers to the page or post title. And in here, the value, that is to say what we want this uh, custom field um, to be about, or the behavior to be, is to remove that title. So it's, it's simple. Title is the name of the um, custom field, and remove is the action. Okay, so we're going to add the custom field. That's been added. It went uh, there. We are. It went yellow, and you can see that's been added now. So we come back up here. Nothing's changed up here, but when we go to the page, okay, and we click refresh, you will see that the about us up here disappears. There it is. It's disappeared. So now we've clicked on the about us page. We we are definitely on the about us page, and uh, that just says interesting information about us, which is wonderful. It doesn't affect the mobile. The mobile will still show the name of the page because it's uh, it's working under its own uh, management system. But uh, again, you know, we can change this to whatever we want to have it, and uh, that works the same in uh, pages as it does for posts. It's very very simple. If you want to remove the um, the actual uh, uh, title of the uh, post or the page, you can do so. Um, See so if we go to articles here, let's just have a look. I think I might have already done uh, some of these here. Yeah, things to know about electricians. Let's just have a look at that. Okay, so we've got things to know about electricians. Okay, here's a classic example. Okay, we've got two titles here. Things to know about ele electricians, which is the name of the post. And then underneath, things to know about electricians. Okay, so uh, we want to remove one of them. How do we do that? Um, again, we just go to... Uh, posts here, okay, and we'll find things to know about electricians. So there are many uses for this. I'm not going to try and suggest all of the uses or whether it's a good thing or whether it's not thing, uh, a bad thing, but uh, you can decide for yourself whether you want to use it. And I think you will find it probably comes in handy. So there, there we got the page uh, title, the post title, things to know about electricians, okay. And, but I've got it here in the actual um, the actual page or the post heading itself. Okay, so um, what I can do with that? Let me just see the uh, uh, what have I done here? I've just put it in strong. I might want to put it in say an H2 or an H1 heading just to give it some SEO relevance. Okay, so at the moment it's a paragraph. Let's just say we'll put it in heading one, things to know about electricians. And <clears throat> okay, so that's in there as a heading now. Okay, but we're going to add a custom field. Now remember before I told you that the name is title, because it's the post title or the page title, and we just simply want to remove. Okay, so there's uh, <clears throat> no capital letters, no uppercase. It's just as you see there, add the custom field. It'll flash on yellow as it did, and that's included. Now we're going to go and save the post. That's saved. <clears throat> when we come back here now, what's going to happen is this one's going to disappear, and there'll be a title underneath of a similar uh, style and size to this one here, but it's actually the heading for the page itself. Um, notwithstanding that fact, the, the page URL and for SEO purposes still stays the same. So you kind of get a double whammy there without the duplication in the actual display, which is, is pretty nice. Okay, so we're just going to refresh the page here. And there we go. See, we've still got the title. Pretty much looks the same as it did before. But it's a page heading now. It's not a title. So uh, if I turn that off, for instance, and we might just do that just to go back and, and give you the the real uh, clear insight into okay so we just delete that we'll come back and add it later okay we'll come back and update that okay we'll update the page and watch what happens now <clears throat> so we've okay so there we go see there's got two titles in there okay and of course that looks totally totally wrong so uh, again we just uh, Enter new, yeah, we'll have title, we'll have remove. I think you get the idea of how this works. It's really, really simple. It flashes yellow, that's done. 
Okay, save the page. I don't even think you need to save the page, but nonetheless. And that removes the title, and there you go again. So, it's as simple as that, folks, to remove the page or post title uh, in WP Local Biz uh, in the uh, latest version that um, we've just come out with, the uh, 1.61, and that will remain on all uh, subsequent versions. I hope you found it valuable, and I hope you can put it to good use. And uh, thanks for your company. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye now.